There's power in community. Get a friend from school or somebody at home to join in the fun and keep the motivation strong. I knew I should have started getting ready earlier. <sighs> Hope I don't miss the first event. Friends are all gonna be waiting for me. That's, that's probably, yeah, that's good enough. Let me just, oh, who scared me. I didn't see, didn't see you there. What are you, what are you doing in my bathroom? You know what? That's not important for right now. I'm running late for National Field Day. So let me finish getting myself put together. I'll explain all about it in just a little bit. See you there. That's better. I'm Open National Trainer Mike Martinez, and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to National Field Day. Now, Field Day is arguably the most exciting day of the year for students and teachers alike, and we could not be happier to be able to provide this experience to each and every one of you, regardless of what your learning situation is like. But we can't do it alone. It takes an enormous team of volunteers, individuals, organizations to provide their time, their talent, their resources to make sure that whether you're in school or at home, indoors or outdoors, regardless of your learning situation, that you have the most successful field day as possible. So from the Open National Training Team and the entire Teachers Helping Teachers Nation, a huge, huge thank you goes out to the following sponsors. First and foremost, a huge thanks to BSN Sports and US Games. Without you folks, none of this is possible. Thank you to Active Schools, Action for Healthy Kids, to Boardmaker. Huge, huge thank you to the Cooper Institute's Fitness Gram team, to the Go Be Great Foundation. A big thanks to Hip Hop Public Health and the Little Sugar team. Uh, thanks to Kinzu and the Look for the Good Project. A big, big thank you to the rising New York Roadrunners and to all of our friends over at Spikeball. Thanks to your help, this field day is going to be one for the ages. Now, I can't wait for the events to get started. I tend to get a little competitive when games and excitement like this are involved. And I know, I know, I know, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, blah, 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 all that good fun stuff. But here to tell you more about that and more about the spirit of the game is my good friend, Mr. Aaron Hart. Hi everyone, this is Coach Hart and I wanna take a couple of minutes to talk with you about Spirit of the Game. What is Spirit of the Game? I'm glad you asked. Spirit of the Game is a guiding principle that places the responsibility of fair play on each player. Respect, adherence to rules, and the joy of play are valued over competition. In other words, we respect ourselves and our classmates and we work hard to help everyone do their very best and enjoy being physically active together. Real Field Day champions focus on the joy of physical activity. Think about what spirit of the game might sound like during your Field Day event. Saying thank you to teachers and classmates is a great way to demonstrate spirit of the game. Field Day champions also encourage their classmates to do their very best. The joy of being physically active with others is one of the best reasons to live an active lifestyle. Spirit of the Game reminds us to be respectful, kind, and joyful. It's important to take Spirit of the Game with you everywhere you go, whether you're active with friends or are enjoying physical activity in nature. Spirit of the Game can even help you find joy in the classroom, 
Learning can be a team sport when we all work hard and follow the spirit of the game. Thank you for being an Open National Field Day champion and for sharing your greatness with the world. As you can see, I'm working hard on the most important part of today's festivities. How do I become a National Field Day Champion? The Open National Training Team has created a really fun scoring system for this year. Here's how it works. You get one participation point for every field day event that you try. Doesn't matter what your score is, as long as you try it, you get one point. You can try an event more than once if you want to try to beat your score, but all you have to do is attempt it one time in order to get your point. Once you try five events, you become a level one champion. Your teacher is in charge of setting the rest of the levels for your class. So be on the lookout for either a printed or an electronic poster that tells you how to level up during the rest of your National Field Day event. But here's what's even cooler. The really, really, really smart people over at Kinzu have created an app that you can use to track your score. What's gonna be helpful for me is all the social and emotional learning content that the Look for the Good project has built into the Kinzu app. As you can see, I've been trying my favorite field day event, Zero Gravity, trying to balance these three balloons up in the air for at least 60 seconds. But it's hard, and I've been getting a little frustrated. Some would say, maybe even a little crabby. The Look for the Good Wiggle Jar stations are gonna help me turn my frustration into focus. If you start feeling some challenging emotions during field day, just make sure to check out the, the wiggle stations from the Look for the Good project. So using the scorecards and the Kinzu app is really, really, really easy. For a quick look at how the app works, let's watch this short video. As you know, I'm on the Open National Training Team. We're the fun people that create all those field day activity videos for you. This year, over 3 million students from around the world are participating in National Field Day, and the Open National Trainers thought it would be a great opportunity to raise awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. For those of you that don't know about St. Jude, it's an amazing place where kids from all over the world can go to receive life-saving cancer treatment. What's even more amazing that care and treatment for kids at St. Jude's is completely free. That means every and any child with cancer has hope because of St. Jude Heroes. Through May and June, my open teammates and I will be working to raise money for St. Jude. You can click the link below or visit openphyseded.org slash field day to learn more about how you can help. But that's enough from me. Let's take a minute to learn more directly from some of St. Jude's patients. Hi everybody, thank you so much for participating in National Field Day. My name is Amy Jones and I'm an employee at ALSAC, but I'm also a wife and a mother, but most importantly, I'm actually a St. Jude patient. Many years ago, when I was 10 years old, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. I spent two and a half years going through chemotherapy and treatments and was really, really sick. But then I went into remission and I thought life was gonna be normal and I was gonna be an everyday average kid. And I was for about a year and a half until my sophomore year of high school when I relapsed and had to go through another two and a half years of chemotherapy and treatments. But the second time things were way more intense and I was much sicker and definitely weaker. I lost my ability to walk I couldn't run, I couldn't play with my friends, I couldn't do all the amazing and fun activities that you're gonna to get to do today. So just know that everything that you're doing for St. Jude is so important. You're inspiring patients like me every single day. So keep up the amazing work. Good luck today. Have so much fun with your field day activities 
and just know that every single St. Jude patient is so grateful and rooting for you. Hey, 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 here we go. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right on time. It's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around. That's right on time. It's tricky. Oh, wowzers. Oh, oh. I guess those moves still need a little work, huh? I'll keep practicing. I'm down here in my breakdancing basement, my dancing dungeon, if you will, taking a little break from the field day preparation to think about some things like healthy eating and nutrition. While we're out there running and jumping and laughing and competing, it's very important that we take a few minutes to sprinkle in some nutrition education with my main man, Lil Sugar. Let's take a moment and see what he's up to these days. Good morning, folks. My name is Lil Sugar, and I'm your best friend in the world. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. I'm not your friend, but what I am is a master of disguise. I just love using my disguises to sneak inside your food so you are full of me and don't even realize. Ha ha ha, how cool is that? Now, the pesky folks at Hip Hop Public Health and rapper DMC created this song to expose me and make you dance so you get strong and healthy. Not gonna work. I bet you can't catch me hiding inside your food. <laughs> okay, here comes the song. Yeah, I'm bad and you know it. Y'all think you're safe from me? Trying to be trying to live sugar free. Trying to be. Sneak up in your body just to get you up I keep changing my name and get you to look So whenever you are hungry, I'ma be your friend You keep craving for me to the very end I give you diabetes from the treats and all the sweeties I keep you being greedy, make you think you really need me Play a game with your brain as I'm bringing the pain You're not the same, there's a change cause obesity came Now wave your hands from side to side Hope you're having fun out there. This has been great, but I'm ready to get this party started. This year has been tough. It's been tough on students, on families, on schools, on teachers, but through it all, your PE teachers, your makers of movement, your, make, your bringers of fun have worked tirelessly to make sure that the fun never stopped in your fields and in your gyms by providing high energy, meaningful movement this year. We want to give back to those teachers who have done so much in such unprecedented times by having dozens of those very same teachers kick off our ceremonial torch relay. I was just practicing for my leg of it. I'm going to be picking up the torch from, from, oh, you know what? They, they must have forgotten to tell me where to get the torch from and where to bring the torch to. You know what? I'm sure they'll call and let me know before this thing gets started. But I do know the torch is gonna end up in the great state of Wisconsin. I was gonna stick a cheesy joke in there, but I figure Wisconsin's got enough of that on their own. Uh, my very dear friend, national award-winning teacher, Shannon Molly, is gonna be lighting the torch to get us underway. 
Let's see where the actual torch is right now. Let the games begin. Let the games begin. <laughs> 